18. Weather from where you live. You've been tracking a few spotty showers and thunderstorms today. They've been confined to our southern counties and the north. And you can still see a couple holding on. One near Covington, one just about to enter southern Warren County, working east and southeast, and another down here towards Ladoga and also Lebanon. And then farther north, a few little spotty showers and thunderstorms. Far northern Miami, parts of Fulton County. We may see a few more pop here as we head into the evening as enhancement from a little lake breeze front pops a few more. But I think uh, coverage could go up a little bit more tomorrow as our upper low spins and this little smoke of energy. This is a we call a short wave. This will pivot southward and that may enhance the the uh, storm potential a little bit. So we'll go for about 30-35% coverage tomorrow compared to the 20 to 25% coverage today. And this pattern is going to hold on. And as a matter of fact, the low may actually move back westward a little bit more. But at the same time, even though it's got all the cold air locked with it, tremendous heat in Canada is actually coming in from the northwest. So what we're going to do is warm it up into the 80s, but also keep it very cold as you move up in the atmosphere. So that will bubble up scattered storms every day through Saturday. Tonight, after lows upper 50s, we'll be up to 82 tomorrow in Lafayette, as well as Attica, 83 at Pine Village, 80 at Burlington, and then everybody's into the 80s. On Friday, for the most part, 80 at Rochester, 82 Lafayette, even 84 degrees at Covington. High res future cast does show a lingering shower or two as we head into the overnight, but the main story will be some patchy fog and also some patchy areas of low clouds, and those could linger into early tomorrow morning. But that burns off, a lot of sun in the morning, and then the cumulus clouds bubble back up tomorrow, and again, uh, a few more uh, scattered showers and storms popping. Then they tend to collapse tomorrow evening with some more patchy fog and low clouds tomorrow night. And then even on Friday, this is about noon. Notice it's kind of the same song and dance. Scattered to spotty storms pop up and then they collapse in the evening with some patchy fog and low clouds during the overnight. For the Colt World Series though, it does appear that there will still be a few scattered storms around for the games not only Thursday for the opening party, if you will, that evening, but also Friday and Saturday with generally about 30% coverage. But Sunday through Wednesday just looks partly cloudy and dry, but warmer. Winds will be west to southwest around 10 miles an hour each day and highs Thursday through Saturday around 82 and will be in the mid 80s Sunday through Wednesday before it really starts to warm up with time next week. As a matter of fact, once the Colt World Series is over, we'll be pushing 90 by the end of next week and drier weather on the way. But early in the next several days, it'll pops every afternoon. 87 will be suffering then. Well, no, it'll <laughs>